What's up guys? Welcome. In this tutorial, it's going to be very short and brief. I'm going to talk of accessing free internet with a VPN application called HTTP Custom or HTTP Custom. Yeah. So not wasting my time, I'll start over and before you can be able to use the open uh, the HTTP Custom, you know, Android, you first go to your Play Store or you can search in Google Chrome to download it if you wish. But I'm going to search it in the Google Play Store to show it to you guys how it is, the icon and everything, so that you don't end up downloading something else. Yeah, and if you search it, oh, okay, I didn't leave a space in the P and C, so when you search it, it's definitely or likely going to be the very first application that will be shown HTTP custom. You can see HC, a designed HC in it and the name is HTTP custom all in one, AIO channel. Um, yeah, you, you can see, you can see this is the icon, it's a black background with HC written quite clean and um, with white and green, yeah. So, because I have it already, I'm not going to press install, but you have to install it and I'm going to open, yeah, when you open it, you can see everything is blank. We have IP port user password. We don't have it. We don't know how to make the configuration. And if for some reason you manage to even input IP port user password, you still have to make some more settings. But here is the case we are not really into and we are not interested to. Uh, in case you are interested, you can uh, just send me a message or just Say it in the comment section, I'll try my best. I will know how to contact, connect with you and I teach you how to make the settings by yourself. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use settings either by myself or some other config creators on WhatsApp or Telegram. But the, config, the configuration can be shared to everyone, even on Bluetooth and Xenda or any other sharing. Um, this one that you use. So what I'm going to do is, you can see if I try to connect, you see SSH field is empty, and it's true. You can also see it in the log here that field SSH is empty. So there's no way you can connect unless you have to, you do the settings over on this side, you do the settings here and the settings over here too as well. There's a whole lot of settings that goes into it, and file creators really um, suffer the go to the spend a lot of time creating these files so what i'm going to do is we have the something here called save configuration open config and cloud config i'm going to use this open config but before i go there i'm going to use someone's configuration on whatsapp so i will just go to my app list and go to whatsapp yeah there's whatsapp over here i go to whatsapp and this channel, this group is called TechDH VPN Tutorial and um, it's owned by one of my friends. So it's not my own channel uh, or my own group. And he also posts files where for open channel and HTTP custom and other VPN files. So what you are going to do is you are going to, I'll try and leave the links in the description. So you check it out or in the first comment under this video. So. You go to um, the file with the .hc extension. See, this file has a .tnl extension. If you, you closely look at it, it has a .tnl. And this is also having a .hc added to it. So you tap on which one is having the .hc, and then you go to import with HTTP custom, or import as HTTP custom configuration. I don't know how the interface looks like on your device. Then you select just once. Now, once it is successfully imported, you just go to connect. It's as simple as that. When you tap on the connect, go to this log side over here and wait for it to patiently follow the algorithm and connect. You can see this, they just wrote HTTP custom ready to use. It is ready to use. Perfect. So now, you can browse any website that you want to go. You can watch videos on TikTok, on YouTube, anywhere. You can chat on WhatsApp.
Yes, and you can see it's very fast when it's downloading something. I don't know, some people say VPN are slow, but then you should know that we have different types of VPN and I really, I can, sometimes I can guarantee the speed of this manually configured VPN, this one. So, uh, you can see it is very fast. Yeah, it's, it's at least, it's, it's better than um, spending a lot on data bundles and all that. So this first way was I tried importing file from from um, WhatsApp. Now I'm going to teach um, talk of importing files from Telegram as well. So you open your Telegram application. <clears throat> and when you open the Telegram application, as I said in the very first video, you just search for VPN files and join one of the channels and you are going to get some. So over here you can see I'm in uplinking tech channel, it's not my channel though. And we have this file here with dot um, hc extension, this is with dot tnl, this is with dot sks, this one is dot hc. So I'll tap on the one with dot hc and make sure you can see open tunnel, import with open tunnel in your, in your application list, then you select just once. Yeah, now that we have successfully imported this, you, say, you just go to connect like we did at first. And anytime you go to connect, scroll to the log session and wait for it to connect. I'll clear the logs and wait patiently for it to connect. Yeah, and you can see it is authenticating with password. And we just got HTTP custom is ready to use. So now that we are connected, you can do anything you want with this. Now let me show, see it's not all the time that uh, I'll clear this, I'll reset this and, like it's newly downloaded or installed and if I should open this telegram here, I see that sometimes or for some Android applications, if you tap it you will not see the open tunnel over here, uh, the HTTP custom in the application list that you were provided. So you have to tap on this three dot, go to save to download. And when you save to download, open the HTTP custom application, tap on this plus symbol, the FAB button down over here, floating action button. And you go to open config. You don't go to save, you go to open config. And you navigate to where your download folder is and you will see the downloaded file over here. I'm having mtn500 HTTP custom .hc. Make sure the extension is .hc, that's very important. And now that it's imported, I can just go to connect. And I patiently watch for the magic to happen, just wait for it to say, wow, HTTP custom is ready to use. Once they say it's ready to use, you are good to go. It's very simple, it's that simple. Yeah, sometimes you, you may be disturbed with some small little links, uh, you know, with an, one um, interstitial advert that, and it's gone, yeah. But you see, this one, you don't have to be watching any adverts. You don't have to be stressing, like, the only thing is getting your file and tapping on connect. It's very simple. And if you want to create, um, learn how to create your own files too, that's a good idea. Or it's a good decision. You can, you can just say it in the comment section. We'll know how to, um, I'll know how to connect with you and you learn it. Alright guys, so this is the end of this tutorial and if you have any questions, constructive criticism, ideas, make sure you put them down in the comment section and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me say, if this is the first time you are watching a video tutorial on this YouTube channel, consider subscribing because we are here to drop more and more tech tips and tricks for con concerning free internet and you are not going to miss an update anytime we post a video you'll be notified and see you in the next video and until then goodbye